commissioner says the revelation that a rap video was shot inside the jail is evidence the facility needs better supervision. An entire housing pod at the jail took part in the unauthorized recording while an officer watched. Well, now Vice Chairman Bob Ellis is calling on Sheriff Pat Labatt to make corrections right away and provide the service he says taxpayers are paying for. On Fox Size, more Stiggs is live in Northeast Atlanta tonight with details. Morris? Well, Russ, has been well documented. The jail is overpopulated and officers are short-staffed. But, he says, when it comes down to a rap video being shot and commanders don't know about it, that comes down to management. This isn't surprising. Am I shocked by it? No. Am I disappointed? Am I frustrated? Yes. This is what the vice chairman of the Fulton County Commission is talking about, a recorded rap session that all the other inmates in one jail housing pod appeared to enjoy. The housing door was left open and officer watches. The Fulton lawmaker looks at the scene and other incidents and questions Sheriff Pat Labatt's command of the jail. That's management and supervision. It's frustrating to, to kind of continue to hear about incidents that are occurring, people in compromising positions, etc. Just a couple of other examples. Authorities say a former jail staffer put herself in a compromising position with a male inmate in a private jail office. On a different day, you had this image, restaurant meals brought to inmates by an officer. Vice Chair Ellis says taxpayers are paying for high quality staffers supervised by competent commanders. In an earlier interview, the sheriff told me that is his goal. We've been very intentional about working with the Board of Commissioners. We've given just our law enforcement division and, and our sworn division a 36% pay raise in the last two years. Right? With all the law enforcement agencies that we know of in the metro area is paying a $10,500 bonus. Now, we got a follow-up statement from the sheriff this afternoon in which he notes, if you look at voting records and which commissioners have reached out directly and even visited the jail, it will be clear which ones are interested in sustainable solutions and which ones are obsessed with playing politics. He didn't mention any commissioner by name. This afternoon, the vice chairman Ellis told me he visited Rice Street facility back on February 23rd. From Northeast Atlanta, I'm more...